From physical changes to career transitions, many women face challenges as they mature. And while it can be a sensitive topic, actress Virginia Madsen has made it her mission to embrace life stages and welcome each new step. And to not let her sex life diminish during the transition years, also known as menopause. Nowadays, it's, these, these aren't just uh, random dreams to have a value fabulous sex life in your 50s and to be 50s, 60s, 80s. But yeah. I mean, you have the best role model of all. You have my uh, the most amazing yeah. hot mom. How old is your mom? My mom's 82. And she's still chilling with a great oh, sex oh, life. Oh, yeah, she is. She yes, just she got is. married. Tell me about <laughs> this know. amazing role model. Well, you know, she is my role model. She's my mentor. She is, she was just here running all over New York with me. And she is very youthful. And my mother never lied about her age. And neither did my older sister. And when my mother had a birthday, she would have all the candles on her cake. And she was the only mom that was talking about her age. And because she kept feeling like she got better with age. And now I feel that way. You know, I, I, I mean, when I turned like the big 3 0, you know, I, like, I, did, I had a huge party because I was so happy I was out of all the nonsense of my 20s. And it is true, like my mother told me, in your 40s, you're free. In your 50s, you fly. And I'm 52 and I'm soaring. There are two folds to your life. There's real life where you have this awesome sex life and you're <laughs> 52 years old. And then there's your actress life where the media is not always looking for this to be uh, depicted necessarily. When I realized I was interviewing you, I was reminding of this great New York Times piece that just came out a couple of days ago on the opinion page is the, women, the woman who gave up sex. And she has this piece, it's about the good wife. And, the woman uh, who gave up sex? Yes, and it's about on the good wife how oh. Alicia basically stopped having sex with Will. Uh, and the, the way the author posits it is it seems like it's simply because she becomes a mom. She throws away her black underwear. She just I says, did. You threw away your black underwear? You know, I said a lot of things about myself aside because I went headlong into motherhood, as, as a lot of us do when we have our first child. And because I always think, God, if I had a second child, I'd, you know, they'd be off to boarding school. And, <laughs> you know, it's like they, but, you know, Jack was my everything. You know, that baby was my miracle baby because I wasn't supposed to be able to carry. And so everything about him was cooler, more fun, more exciting, more interesting than anything in my life. So that's why, you know, we throw ourselves, it's, it, a lot of it is healthy. We throw ourselves into motherhood. But then, getting back to hormones, I didn't realize that I had lost almost everything hormone-wise. I was almost going into menopause. My hormone levels had dropped, and I didn't realize that I was in some postpartum distress. And so and you were, I stopped you like thinking about it. years old. Yeah, and I, and I really, that was what happened to my body. And so, like, I wasn't concentrating much on my work. I wasn't, and, and, I, and the, my personal life kind of really suffered in that way. Like, I got, a, I moved away from being a sensual, sexual woman into being mom. Now, granted, that made me a really good mom, but part of me was unhappy. And then as it went on, a lot of me became unhappy. So I had to get my hormones in, you know, back to health, and then myself back to health. People misinterpret the joke is really that it's my mom, and it's hilarious. And he hilarious. was adorable, and that's in the first episode of Joan and, and Melissa. And I love that he makes fun of himself. 